Good evening, and thank you very much for sharing this wonderful moment with us. You'll excuse me if I'm nervous, my bosses are around. <laughs> University of the Western Cape, through the grant, we, we would like to develop a center for in teaching and learning scholarship, center of excellence in teaching and learning scholarship. For those who know uh, University of West, uh, Western Cape, the main campus in, is in Belleville, and that's where the School of Nursing is. The School of Nursing is, um, it falls under the Faculty of Community and Health Sciences. Uh, Professor Mbofu is the head of the faculty. Uh, the School of Nursing forms more than 50% of the faculty. You'll see why. We all know that um, after the transformation of higher education, there were measures in, the, in other regions like Western Cape. The institutions did not merge, but they formed what they called collaborate, collaboration. So UWC was Nursing was one of the programs that collaborated. Um, after Professor Kadam Asmal had decreed that nursing must be only offered at UWC and not the other institutions, the four higher learning institutions in the region, they came up with a, an alternative model because they felt that we, the nursing students needed to to, to experience the rich expertise uh, in terms of um, academic nursing that would be lost if the other institutions did not participate. And you can see, ladies and gentlemen, how the enrollments have expanded since 2003 up to 2008. We are the largest first degree offering in the country. Currently, we have 1,062 students. So we have emerged from a very small department to this giant department. But then again, when I joined the University of the Western Cape, there was this slogan that we take every challenge um, because we realize that we can move. We, have, we can move from hope to action through knowledge. And I think that slogan we at Nursing have used as a basis for, for moving forward. This is a common teaching platform. The three universities, University of Cape Town, University of the Western Cape, and the University of Stellenbosch came together to, to craft this model of the common teaching platform. What happens is that students register with UWC, but the other two institutions participate in teaching. So UWC um, is the enrolling institutions, Stellenbosch and UCT, they are participating in teaching. So this is the common teaching platform as you can see. Um, we are saying after four years, we have managed, we have a four year track record of managing increased uh, access and, and ensuring that the quality of our program is not compromised. But we feel it's time to evaluate the common teaching platform. We have had challenges with the increased enrollments. Some of them are, as we focused on our undergraduate program, our postgraduate program output suffered because, you know, we had to we were told by, by, by the, the management that you have to make this work. You have to make this, this work. So we had students and we had to make sure that they pass after four years. So we focused mainly on the undergraduate program and we focused mainly on teaching and make, making it work. So the postgraduate uh, output suffered as well as the as the enrollments, undergraduate enrollments increased, scholarship and postgraduate decreased in the department. But we took the challenge. We said, how do we balance access and quality? We have tried uh, various innovations. The first one being um, using the simulated patients. I'm sure most nursing colleagues 
here in the room will agree with me that the clinical learning environment is shrinking. So you can imagine at UWC with increased numbers of students, the hospitals were not very friendly with us because they could not take the volumes of students that we wanted to put. So we had to be creative in terms of clinical teaching. So what we did, unlike TUT that went into the community, we brought the community into the skills lab. So we recruited the community. We said, come and be patients for us. Currently, we have 10 simulated patients that we have recruited, trained, and they offer clinical learning opportunities for our students. I must say this innovation is, um, has been positively evaluated by students because these simulated patients, they give them accurate feedback because they don't care. They are not patients after all. So they give them accurate feedback. The other innovation that we've done was to appoint clinical supervisors that will follow our students. I know in most universities, um, lecturers follow students into the clinical, but we couldn't do that with the, the staff establishment. We had to appoint more, more clinical supervisors. And with a, a grant from Atlantic Philanthropies, we increased our human resources uh, we have five posts. One of them is at a professorial level, and that has greatly improved our FTE SLE ratios. We have also revitalized our skills lab method. As you can see, the, the, the other ball there, 